On this day one year ago, Melbourne was heading into stage 4 lockdown. That was only supposed to be for six weeks, but it wouldn't end for months. Tonight, Victoria's darkest day. The state records more than 700 cases and 13 deaths in less than 24 hours, with masks set to become mandatory for the entire state as the aged care crisis worsens. At the time, Six News was reporting on the rise of cases inside the aged care sector, with 397 reported on August 1st, bringing the total to just under 11,000. Good evening. Victoria has recorded their darkest day in the coronavirus pandemic so far. At that point, 116 people had died, far less than the more than 800 people who would pass away in the coming weeks and months. Victoria was the only state in Australia to have more than one lockdown. Remote learning was in full effect and so were mask requirements. But let's fast forward to 2021. <laughs> With parts of both New South Wales and Queensland under heavy restrictions and six out of eight states and territories being in lockdown since June, the question has to be raised, do short lockdowns even work? Epidemiologist Mary Louise McClaws spoke to us earlier this year to share her perspective. They have learnt that you have to respond very, very rapidly uh, because it takes off. You know, if that analogy doesn't work, then think of a bushfire. And, um, you know, if you get to the size of a bushfire and if the um, fire brigade haven't been called out, uh, it's likely to become uh, a fire front. It's hoped the lockdowns will end for good once majority of the Australian population gets vaccinated. Lincoln Holmes, 6 News.